little demo of our integration of the Jung framework, the Java, Java Unified Network Graph framework. <coughs> it allows you to render typical network graphs for MPS nodes here. So if I take this, well, we've used that in a commercial project, so the example I'm going to show is not the most useful one, but it demonstrates its, its functionality. So here is a graph shown for modules and their dependencies. So the big rectangles are the modules. Um, the small ones are the module contents, and you have the relationships between them. The dotted lines or the dashed, dashed lines are the calls relationships. So um, <clears throat> you can see you can select nodes and you get the outgoing edges selected. You can also get the outgoing nodes selected. This gives you, uh, you know, a better overview. Also, in this case, the incoming. You can unselect the incoming, then you only get the outgoing, stuff like that. So there's good highlighting. You can zoom in, like for example, this looks a little, little, little bit like chaos. So you can you can zoom in and you can see uh, much better what's going on. You get um, tooltips, they're configurable. You can um, change the layout. Jung comes with a bunch of default layouts you can choose from. You can also plug in your own layouts, um, for example, the Yworks layout, if you have a Yworks license. You can also filter, for example, here, if you don't want to see the <coughs> the, let's say, the contents of these modules, then you can render the graph only for the modules themselves. Um, now, as you have seen, this is done by actually removing the nodes from the graph and relayouting it. Sometimes you just want to hide things. So you can set the hide box and then, for example, remove the calls relationships or remove the whole content nodes. Then the remaining graph return, uh, remains stable because it only, essentially, it, it paints them transparently. You can uh, double click on the nodes and uh, that selects the node in the uh, editor. Also, you can associate a continuous value with these uh, nodes or edges. For example, imagine you have um, something like the creation date of each of those, the timestamp. Then you can use this slider to kind of see how the graph changes on this linear axis, uh, in this case the creation time. We don't have that here, so uh, we, I can't demo that. Uh, we have that in the other project, that's why we've built it. You can reset the graph, you can refresh the drawing, um, you know, because of the layout engine, it uses a different layout every time. So this is obviously not useful for everything, but it's really useful to get an overview about some things. And with these filtering mechanisms, you can uh, quite flexibly uh, you know, essentially explore your graph and also you can you can encode metrics about your nodes and the edges. Like for example here the color is the size uh, of the respective module and the, the size of the box is the number of dependencies or maybe it's the other way around, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. But the point is you can encode uh, all kinds of node specific metrics and then you can really highlight highlight things. Again, one of the most important uh, characteristics of or use uses of such viewers is the ability to encode knowledge about the semantics or some other metrics in the in the visual representation, so you can easily see anomalies and stuff like that. Anyway, that's a short demo. It's now in Embedder and the Embedder platform. Have fun.